Hello, and welcome back to Cradle. It's feeling a little depressing in here. Our friend Ida's not doing too hot. Everything is kind of like desaturated. TV's broke. And she needs something. But what was it that we were even like going for? A synchronizer. Perhaps that will fix her, her problem. We hope. And yeah. She got a new battery, she got new a new breathing module, she got new eyes, but none of it is working. And I can't, like, turn her off. No. Alright. Let's hope that the minigame here is, uh, not awful. And, oh, stutters, of course. And that'll actually help. We'll see. I think we're, we're probably nearing the end here. Uh... I checked, like, last time I recorded this, there were only five or six chapter things left or something. Maybe a couple more? I can't remember, but something where it feels like it's probably one or two more episodes before the end, but then I don't know if there's going to be, like, extra stuff, extra achievements and whatever to do, but yeah, we'll see. At least we get the music again that got interrupted last time. I kind of want to just, like, listen to this music a little bit. I don't really want to go into the thing. What was it? Pavilion 6? What did they say? Yeah. And this is the one that doesn't work, right? So we have to, like, jump over. Yeah. This elevator is out of order. I need to find another way of reaching the pavilion. Yeah, so that's why that's, like, a thing. Yeah, I kind of don't want to go near here, where she starts talking and stuff. It sounds like the sound, the song is like finishing up now, though. Yeah, I guess it was almost like it was timed to how long it would take you to get here, maybe. Yeah, very nice soundtrack overall. Sometimes just a little, like, almost jarring, but that was a nice one. Nice track. Ida? I figured out what kind of breakdown the report was referring to. During a transfer, the ability to speak was not blocked out for one of the kids. That is, he was talking to himself, to his own copy. Oh yeah, I had an idea that that's probably me or something. I see you. Not not probably, but like, it could be me, and that, in a way, could almost explain why- God, that's so loud! That could almost explain why Enebish is so, like, weird, and like, unempathetic and stuff, and yeah, he does come off kind of like a child, so it's possible that, like, I really am not more than just like a young teenager or something at this point, really, even though I'm in the body of an adult, because I was transferred or something? That would be a very interesting twist, if that actually is why he, he acts so strangely all the time, and just like doesn't really seem to understand consequences and like feelings and things like that. I don't know, would be an interesting twist. Not sure if it's gonna happen though.
So, how bad is this one gonna be? Hopefully it alternates so it's more like the second one instead. Magic Lakes. Yeah, really wish these were a little different, instead of just the same thing over and over. Collect 30 orange cubes to obtain the synchronizer. Hurl cubes into the uprising stream. Use bombs to destroy grey blocks. Yeah, similar to the second one. Apply orange cube to a red one to make the bomb explode. Yeah, it is just the same. Whoa. The music, though. What about the white ones? Can I still do that? Yeah. So you can still apply those like normal. I did see when editing that, like, the spiral thing is actually a lot more obvious than, uh, than I felt. Like, it's actually very, like, now it's starting, and you can still throw in, but then, like, you get a lot of warning, basically. Guess I'll do that. And now it's gone. So yeah, you just need to pay attention to the bottom, bottom left, which is easier said than done sometimes when you're jumping around and stuff and trying not to fall. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Did that, like, none of the ones I got counted for that, it seems. Uh, now what? Is that it? Yeah, I mean, that one was very easy. I, I do feel like, sure, I understand it a little more now in the timing and stuff, but I feel like this one was just so much easier than the previous one and the first one. Like, there were just more cubes, more layers. The, the like, exploding thing didn't really get you as much. Like, falling is a lot worse than getting trapped when you can just have a red cube on hand. Like... I don't know. That one just feels super simple in comparison. All right. It's night time. I'm not so sure Ida's going to talk to us on the way home. Ida's losing her ability to communicate. Install the new synchronizer. Yeah. Whoa. We didn't get to like properly slide. Sad. Was this here before? I know why there was so little information about me. August 15th was my first work day at the Gerbera Garden. I had come here for the first time with that group of kids. Oh. The explosion occurred two hours later. Well, that's rough. Poor Ida. First day of work. And then she gets buried in the sand for like 20 years or whatever it was. Nice planet. What is happening up there? Do we have some sort of like... Uh, Dyson Sphere or whatever around the planet? What's going on? Though That would be weird. 
They're usually around, like, stars, right? I don't know what's happening up there. And, like, what this is? Is that a cloud? I guess that's... those are clouds, yeah. I like nighttime. It also seems to run very well. Minus the stutters, of course. But yeah, like, just frame rate wise, it's very smooth. Except when it stutters. I just, every time I compliment it, it has to start stuttering like crazy. It's the law. I guess it's when it's loading stuff, like, in the house or whatever. Hey, Ada. How's it going? Did bring it? I did. Hold on while I replace it. Hope this helps. Sorry for the shakes again. I do we have to like take one out? Or where was it? Is it here? Yeah, that's the old synchronizer. We don't need that anymore. They're not getting any easier, these shakes. Well? What can you tell me? Well, it's fine. Thoughts still messed up? No, everything's fine. Then hmm. it helped. Sounds suspicious. For now, we'll see if it lasts. How long will your charge last? About two weeks, maybe less. Say, know what I found? The correspondence of that operator, Mark, with one of his colleagues. There are some strange tidbits here. Here, listen to this. He, he is a kid! He's actually a kid! To be honest, it doesn't really interest me. Wait, this is important. It's about your parents. What? Your parents. And me as well. Here, listen. It's a work correspondence. They're talking about research into memory transfer between people. Using telepathy. Telepathy? That's what it says here. They're discussing telepathy and also mention some kind of side effect. They refer to it as MPR Zero. The MPR Zero effect. What is it? Well, if my understanding is correct, it's a sensation. A strange sensation experienced when one transmits one's memory. And what of it? Mark writes that it God, his dialogue is so stiff. In the matter, ...studying MPR Zero thoroughly after that incident with Ida. That incident? We must have been acquainted. Even though I remember nothing about Mark or any unusual effects, and I cannot imagine what incident he's referring to. And what about my parents? That's here, too. He recalls working at a research station before the garden was constructed. There weren't many people around in those days. His circle of contacts was limited to several work colleagues and his Mongolian friends. He writes, It's the family living in a yurt not far from the landing platform. That's your family, isn't it? Sounds like it. Where are your parents now? They died long ago. Why? Or did they? They answered many of our questions. Maybe Mark even told them about me. Are you all right? Yes, maybe. Oh, what now? Maybe he told them. God damn it. Ida, is everything fine? Everything fine is an ordinary word. Just a note. Like the weather, chilly or warm, but we were looking for other research. Family records, kind letters, so... Well, I guess the synchronizer ain't it. What was that just now? More of the same? Yes. Again. Enabish. What? I don't think I have much time. Please, help me untangle this web with Mark. I want you to look through your parents' things. They may have left behind the notes. So now we need keys and stuff? Understood. I'll go look for them. Tabaha is here. 
Did you find anything? Not yet. Still looking. Hurry. I'll be disconnected soon. We'll get you back online. No, you won't. Waking from a coma is impossible. But you can try and shock me with electricity. Why? Will that bring you back to life? It won't, but it might switch me on. If we're lucky, it would give us a few minutes to talk. A few minutes? And then what? And then I will cease to be. Fantastic. Uh-huh. So, I mean, we have this lock right here, which is suspicious, and then this chest, which is also suspicious. Shut for many years, huh? I don't know if I need to find, like, a key, or if we need to find, like, a crowbar or something to smash the lock. But I guess, for now, we just talk to Tabaha. Seeing all these trees flicker out of existence as they load. Is he gonna reprimand me for giving him bad flowers, or what? Hey, what's up, Tabaha? You didn't, like, bring anything for me? And now he doesn't have the, the glasses and stuff? The, I guess he really cares about my opinions on things? Maybe he was, like, wearing that just to kind of, like, try and be funny for me, try and make me feel better, and then I'm like, it looks stupid, and then he, like, takes them off or something. Looks like it'll rain. Rain? Today? There'll be rain and thunder. And it'll sweep all profiteers into a ditch. I'm guessing, like, Bachin told him to look after me or something. What happened? You got any idea how much the search cost me? Well, see, it's, it's unfortunate that the, the voices are so quiet. Like, I'm trying to boost up the volume a little bit when I'm editing, but since the music is playing, that's pretty loud, so I can't really boost it that much without it just, like, completely messing with the overall audio balance, so I really wish we had, like, a voice slider and could make that louder, because, yeah, they're very quiet. How much? One and a half. Is that a lot? Well, I have no concept of money, because I'm five years old. One and a half. I'll pay you back. I won't take money from your destitute self. All right, thanks. The information was paid for and delivered by a personal courier. Very nice. So, what did you find out? Well, first of all, the Gebera Garden was never about entertainment. It was a hospital, I know. But what happened to it? The kids were all patients, yeah? Well, one of them had his container overflow. The passim exploded. That's what happened. It was me. That's all? Hold your horses. The story ain't so simple. Think. A person gets his body replaced and blows up minutes later. You might ask, how could they not have checked the container? Or was Turns it Ida? They did check, and the container was empty. And yet, 15 minutes later, it up and explodes. In other words, the capsule filled and overflowed rapidly. Pretty much instantly, in point of fact. There must have been a reason. Must have been, sure, but it wasn't found. All that's known is that there was a mishap with this particular child's transfer. Turns out, he had been talking to himself while in the booth. He? That was the mishap. As to why he blew up, that part's unclear. When he came outside, all his stats were normal, and he looked calm. You can see it on the video. Uh, I'm assuming I still want to say the second option so that we can then later say the first option, right? He was talking to himself? What about, I wonder? Nobody knows. The conversation wasn't saved. What's the video you mentioned? From the security cameras. You can see everything. The sword! Here he is, coming out of the booth in an M-body. Here's the sword acceptance ceremony. Here he is, getting off the stage and heading into the garden. He's walking evenly, takes a seat on the edge of a flower bed, then this part is a bit unclear. What's happening? A child comes up to him as he's sitting, a teeny little thing, walks up and says something to him. Looks like the kid fancies the sword. And Whoa, that was a weird sound. 
I have the sword. What sword. A toy, just a shiny toy sword. They were given to the kids as presents after their body replacements. Endure a transfer, get a toy. Okay. Okay. So our hero hands over the sword. He's holding on to the hilt, hand extended. The child is trying to take the sword, but can't. Why can't he? Because he's grabbing at the blade, which is holographic. The kiddo's fingers swish right through the air, through the illusion. Could I not just see this video myself instead of having you describe all of the things that are happening in it? I see. And then what happens? Then, nothing happens. It's the end of the recording. The explosion is coming up. Here's a grown-up approaching the kids. That's the transfer operator. He walks up to his patient and asks him something. The latter turns around and blows up a second later. And that's it. Doesn't clear up much, I'm afraid. What was his name? Mark. Or who are you asking about? The one who blew up? That was Albert. Am I Alper? Maybe not. Maybe I'm the friend who wanted the the toy sword, and that explains why I'm so happy to see the toy sword? And the other child? The little one? Don't know. He was one of the locals. I'm not local. Sure he ended up inside the garden. Uh... Have fun with your little mystery now, but I'm off. See you tomorrow? I nope. Don't know. It might be three, four days, maybe a week. We'll see. All right, take care now. Don't get caught in the rain. Hold on, Tabaha. I've got one more question. I told you everything I know about this garden. I got nothing else. It's not about the garden. It's about my parents. I wanted to remember something about my parents. Here. Shifty eyes. What's this? A key. To the drawer of your Grandpa Bachin's bedside table. Yeah. Where did you get it? He entrusted it Bachin to me. left it to me. He said that if ever you ask me about your parents, yeah. to give you this key. So, that's what I'm doing. And I don't know nothing else. Goodbye. Sounds like it's a Bachin. Goodbye, Tabaha. Not Bachin. Thanks, Tabaha. Yeah, he's, he's pretty nice overall. He seems like awkward, but still trying to somehow look out for me. Would be interesting to find out more about him. Like, what's his story? Why is he doing this? Why is he coming here? How did he know Bachin? It's almost like he, he seems to feel responsible for me somehow. But feels too, like, self-conscious and awkward to do much about it. How's it going? Did you find anything? Not yet. Still looking. Hurry. I'll be disconnected soon. Hang on. All right. Well, I guess this is a good cliffhanger. What are you doing? Nice trick chair. This is a good cliffhanger. Let's leave it off here before we unlock this drawer and find out Grandpa Bachin's dark, ugly secret about my parents, I guess. I never had parents. I was created in the lab. I don't know. We'll see. So, it might be the last one next time, who knows? Again, we probably have achievements left to get. Uh, speaking of, I forgot to mention, I did get achievements in the last two episodes, but it's just normal stuff, nothing like specific, nothing important, so who cares? We'll look at them again once we're done with the game. I'll see you next time. Bye!